So because we had these equations right here, let me just try to actually uh, copy them. Let me just see if I can do that. So this one right here, I want to take these and uh, press copy. I'll go to the next page here and try to do paste. Let me just see if it works. I hope it does because I don't feel like rewriting them. Yes, there we go. So let's say I take all of this big mess right here and I actually try to graph these. Well, let's actually do that. So if I want to graph this right here, let's just do the position one first. So let's do a graph of uh, x versus time. So that's what we're going to do here, x versus time here. So this here is my graph of time, and this is x in meters. Oops, there we go. And this here is my time in seconds. Then I can actually do this as well. So this one right here, then I could say, well, let's see now. At my time t equals zero, this is actually a graph of cosine. And cosine graphs normally start off at t equals zero. It starts off at a maximum value here, and then it sort of goes down and back up again, and down, and keeps going forever, back and forth. But this is a cosine graph. And from here to here, that is one period right here. So this here is going to be t. That's your period. And that means this here is half a period. It means this right here is a quarter of a period, and that means this is uh, three quarters of a period, this point right here. And then we even know that the amplitude right here, that's going to be this value right here. So this height right here, that's going to be my amplitude. In other words, that's my x0. So if this right here is like, um, this could be anything here. We could be looking at a pendulum, or like I said, we can be looking at something oscillating left and right. Uh, but that right there is what this graph will look like. And if we want to do the velocity, well, it's going to look similar to that, except, let me just try, whoops, that was not a very nice straight line, was it? There we go. So time in seconds. And this is my x, oops, not x. I want the velocity in meters per second. So this time I'm going to graph my velocity maybe with a different color. It's a negative sine graph. Normally a sine graph goes up and then down and then back again. If this right here, by the way, I'm going to still try to make this my t. That's my period. And actually this will be t over 2, and over here will be t over 4, and this is 1 fourth, 2 four, so this is 3t over 4. So still the same scale here. If we do that, this graph then is going to be a minus sine graph. Now normally sine graph goes up and meets here and then goes down. So a minus sine graph does the opposite. So it goes down here and then up to here. That would be sort of one complete period of a minus sine graph. Where this right here would be the max velocity or the maximum speed. That would be your amplitude of this graph. And finally, if I wanted to do the acceleration, so same sort of deal here, same scale, same everything. That's the goal. So if I do time in seconds, but this time I want the acceleration, which is in meters per second squared. If I do that, let's see, this is a minus cosine graph. And remember, we're going to do the same sort of thing. This is t, so this is t over 2. That's half of it. And this right here is half of that, so that's a quarter, and one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. So if I do that, this one is a negative cos. A cosine graph normally starts at a maximum, and then goes down, and then comes back up again. So this one right here is going to be um, the opposite of that. So in this one here, a cosine, like I said, normally starts off down here and goes up like this. But in this tight case, it's going to go from down here and go up like that. That's what a negative cosine does. It does the opposite of a cosine. So it starts off at a maximum here. It finishes off uh, at that negative maximum. And over here, it's going to be at a uh, maximum positive value over here. So it's going to go something like this. It's hard to draw these exactly, but something like this. This will be very close to the acceleration graph. So this actually sort of shows you, and of course, by the way, this right here is your maximum acceleration. That's your A0. So now this may have seemed totally crazy. 
and that's fine. But just remember that these are here are your equations for the position, velocity, and acceleration. And keep in mind, you may also care to see that these equations, you may want to see that this is the amplitude, that the maximum speed is actually omega a, and this right here is omega squared a. So the actual derivation, the way we sort of got to the math of it, that may have seemed a little bit crazy. That's okay. But I just wanted to show you where all these equations came from. So this, the, the main thing to remember, though, is just these equations right here.